What's up guys, we are back with some Skyrim Legendary Edition today. I'm going to be doing an individual showcase of LVX's Magic Boats. Now this is a really amazing looking mod, I haven't tried it out yet. I'm going to try it out today, I'm going to try it out blind. On camera in front of you guys, with some commentary to give you guys my thoughts. Now I'm going to say that you guys, as human beings, you guys are dumb. You guys are holding yourself back, okay? Because look at this mod. It looks like it's so good. It looks like a lot of time went into making this mod, yet it only has 56 endorsements. Granted, this is the LE version of the mod, but that's still no excuse. I doubt it if the SE version will have that much more endorsements. Now, we can go over here to see that this Daedric Bitches mod 2024 that was released by Sexy Bono with his three Daedric characters that look like hardly any face sculpting went into their actual faces right they have no scripts they have no quests they have no custom packages there's nothing really special about them outside of them being a nice pair of tits and ass okay yet that mod has 493 endorsements and over 16,000 downloads all right you guys are stupid this is not the type of content that i always want to see in the type of skyrim games but it's the type of shit that we have to do because hell i'm selling out because if that's the type of things that's gonna give me a bigger following or something along those lines, then I'll do it. So, you know, whenever you guys say stupid shit like touch grass and shit like that, you're the ones who's an idiot. I'm just capitalizing on the fact that you guys are so freaking thirsty and you guys don't know how to get a piece of ass or touch grass, which is why the Nexus is always filled with this BS. Okay, so here we are in game. You want to go over to your forge that we have right here. And they said that it should be in miscellaneous. So in miscellaneous, you see right here, we got the boat construction kit, which it costs four linen wraps, 16 firewood, six nails, and two iron fittings. But for the sake of this showcase, I'm just going to use add item to get it. Uh, if you don't know about add item, you know, you should just get it. I feel like everybody and their mom has this, and it's basically a file explorer. Unless you go into the freaking uh, thing and you can grab... These NPCs keep talking while I'm talking. All right, so here, lvxmagicboats.esm, click that, boat construction kit, let me get that. There's some other items in there, but we're just going to, you know, test this out real quick. All right, so we're going to find a body of water. This isn't a big body of water, but it should be enough for a boat. So boat construction kit, I press the enter key on it, okay? What the heck just happened, okay? Get a double faded screen. All right, and there's my boat. It is now here. I could go up to the boat to interact with it. Use boat building kit. Ready to build a boat. And then I'll say yes. Now I can choose which body of water are you using for the boat. I'm using the Lake Inalita. You have to go to Lake Inalita to build the boat. You cannot build it here. Okay, so let me see if I can pick this up. Pick this up. We are on Lake Inalita. I thought that's what this is. And why should we not even be pronouncing that word right? But I feel like this is it. The Lake Inalata, In In whatever. Inalata's deep is over there. All right, let's just run down this river a little bit more. I'm going to check right here. Let's drop this boating kit. Boat construction kit. Press enter. It's going to give me the double faded screen before the boat appears. Okay, there it is. I'm ready to build the boat at Lake Inalita. I am here. I am here, man. All right, let's do the dry dock. I mean, Sea of Ghosts. Okay, let's just pick it up. I'm going to run to the Inalita's Deep. All right, so here we are at Lake Inalita or Inalita's Deep, which would I would assume this would be Lake Inalita. So let me find a nice spot. Let me find these rocks right here. All right, so we're going we're gonna to build it on here. Okay. Let's go to a miscellaneous boat construction kit. The double fade to black screen. Remember, just be patient. All right, there's our boat. We're going to try this for the third time. Third time's the charm, right? So use boat building kit. Are you ready to build the boat? Yes, I am. On uh, Lake 
Illinalta. Lake Illinalta. In the in. Oh my goodness. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now I can make a rowboat or a sailboat. So let's save the best for last. Let's make a rowboat first. A, a standard rowboat, a fishing rowboat, a ship vessel. Let's let's do the fishing rowboat. So we'll turn this into a fishing rowboat. Okay, am I on? Okay, it'll put me on there. Alright, so now I could jump on top of here, hit use rowboat. Cargo equipment. Which type of cargo would you like to access? The equipment cargo. Oh look at that. So you can store cargo in here. Alright. Weapons. Let's let's try to test this a little bit. Let me drop my uh, wyvern ignition in here. And that's in there, and then check the cargo, and then let's check for like food. And yeah, it's a separate thing for food. So we could drop that in there. You got your separate weapons storage, and you got your food and equipment and miscellaneous and ingredient storage. All right. So now I could press. What's the options? Let's see the options. Boat speeds, themes and waterways, deconstruct the boat. Boat speeds, cruising, default, warp, speedboat. Speed will not change until after you press the sneak button down at least once after entering or exiting the boat to initiate speed. Okay, we're not going to do that right now. Let's just use this. I know everybody's ready to see this thing be used. All right, so I'm on this, right? And I'm moving. Look, it's kind of like, it gives me like a horse feeling. The way it's bobbing kind of gives me like that. Like I'm riding a horse type of feeling. But it is working. I'm using this on a controller. Okay. And I am moving. I am using a dual shock 4. I'm using the left analog to move forward. And to strafe to the left and right and move backwards. Now I'm using the right analog stick to move left and right. Now I'm seeing uh, two bolts and things going on here. Right here. And this might be because of. Uh, enhanced camera or immersive camera you know where you could look down and see yourself in third person so that might be the cause of this you cannot use this boat in third person I'm pressing the, the button to switch to third person right now and it's simply not letting me so you're you're forced to use this in first person now um, the author did say that they are planning to make a update so that you can use this in third person which is really nice so it seems to be working really fine. I'm I'm gonna take the boat over here to the the edge of this land right here, and I'm going to try to undock and see if I could like pack it up and see if my items and everything get stored. And then we'll also try a few more of the other boat models. So here we are making it to the Riverwood Falk Reef side of the land. Actually, all right. So once I get once I force myself all the way onto the land, it actually forces me out of the boat. So now I'm back on land. It forced me out. And here's my boat. Now I could go to it and I could simply say, pick it up. Now it's back in my inventory. So there you go. Rowboat Lake in a lot and in Illy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. So here we go. I'm going to try it again. Press enter. It's out here. Do you want to use this? Uh, level bolt. Okay, so the level bolt is probably just going to lift it up a little bit. Level it up. Yeah, it'll probably move it upwards and downwards a little bit. Okay, so let's... Can we change the position of this? I mean, like, like what it has on it. Themes and waterways. Dry dock. Let's pick Lake Inalita again, and we'll pick the, uh, let's pick the, the ship rowboat. All right. So, yeah, the model changes right here on the spot. Let's try it. Let's try another one. Options. The Scarlet rowboat. All right. Gives you a nice red one. And, uh, yeah, let me pick this up real quick. Oops, I jumped back in it. Let me get out of this. 
I want to see what other models that they have. Okay, so really quickly, I had jumped off the boat and I went to check my cargo. All of my stuff inside was gone. Those apples, my wyvern ignition sword, all of it was gone. So I don't know. Maybe it's because I changed the model without taking my items out first. I have no idea. To be honest, I didn't plan on using the cargo to begin with. I never really felt uh, positive about leaving you know valuable items and things like that into you know these these really uh fragile type of storages all right now we got a pirate themed sailboat okay now i want to check something real quick i want to check the storage again just in case okay let's check my weapons real quick let me drop uh anything it doesn't matter let me just drop hell let me drop the damn rowboat in here from lake in, in, Elenanta. I'm keep butchering that name. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna pick up this boat. After I pick it up, I'm gonna drop it again. And after I drop it, oh, you can see the sail is out now. That's nice. It has a sail on it, a working sail. Let me go into the cargo again. And let me see where I put it in the weapons. Okay, so it does save here. I think it's when you change the model that it actually does that. So let me go to options again. Themes. The Scarlet Rowboat. Even though that's what we picked before. And it turns it into that. Even though I picked Sail before. That's weird. And anyway, like I said, now that I changed it, I go to equipment, I go to weapons, and look, it's not in there. The item is gone, okay? So, yeah, I think, like, you, you really need to be careful. If you change the model, make sure you take all of your items out of the uh, out of the cargo first, okay? So, I'm going to try to, I think it said deconstruct the boat. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, so is it going to turn into another normal boating kit? Okay, it does. All right, so you probably only do need to make one. You just need to deconstruct it if you want to switch it to another model. So I'm just going to try this again. I'm going to do a sailboat again. The pirate thing. Let's do the light thing this time. Okay, so let's use it. All right, yeah, it works the same. Let me get out of this thing real quick. And then I'm going to go to sales. And then you could just activate the sales. Look at that. If you want to open them and close them. Close the sale. Open the sale. This is really good. And then you could just pick it up. And as long as you don't change the model, I think you don't have to worry about your stuff getting lost. Let's just try that one more time just to be just to be safe. You know, I always like to thoroughly check these things before I go to somebody's page and report bug reports. And it's not even a bug report, just a mod conflict or a misunderstanding. Like 95% of the other damn comments that you see on the Nexus page. So let me go to cargo again. Let me just go to equipment and let me just drop something in here real quick. We'll drop Minty's lighting, lightning guide in here. And then I'm going to pick this up. Then I'm going to drop it down again. Then I'm going to sail. Now you can't. You can't interact with the boat while you're riding in it either. Oh, if you jump. Okay, you can jump. All right, if you jump, you'll leave it out in the middle of nowhere, which is actually cool. Now, let me check my cargo again. Just want to be safe. Equipment. There's my Minty's lighting guide. So, yeah, your cargo, I think, should be safe as long as you don't change the, the boat's model. Okay? And you could get out of the boat by either jumping like so. Or you can do it by just driving the boat up against, like, drive it on to land for, for, further enough. So once you drive it on further enough, it automatically makes you get out. And then, yeah, I'm free to just pick it up. 
and I'm good to go. Real quick before I get out of here, it's not a huge deal, but I've noticed that this mod takes my gauntlets off. So look, I got my gauntlets on, I go here, I activate the bolt, I go to use it, right? And after I use it, look, my gauntlets are off. And it's like you have to go and you have to put them back on. So, yeah. It's just a small freaking issue. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Just thought I'd point that out. And that's it. That's pretty much how you use this bolt mod. All right. So, that was LVX Magic's Bolt by LVX Magic. I'm going to leave the link for this mod in the description below. Uh, if you want to, you know support him leave an endorsement he did say that leaving endorsements will um you know motivate him to finish this mod or whatever i'm going to be tracking this mod i will not be using this until there's third person support because i'm a third person player once there's a third person player um third person support i would definitely probably do a playthrough with this mod installed so if you're still here thank you for watching uh, once again, I'm going to leave this mod in the description below. Consider subscribing to me on YouTube right here. If you haven't already, check out my Patreon. I release mods over there. And if you want to just support me further or consider supporting me further in YouTube Super. All right. So thank you all for watching. If you're still here, love you all. Peace.